you ready to go see Dry Tortugas? I am. We're actually taking a plane today too. We're gonna take a seaplane from Key West Airport, fly 70 miles west and land in the sea and beach the airplane and get out and tour the uh, Fort Jefferson and probably get a chance to go snorkeling there a little bit too. Depending on how warm it is, I'm not sure. The water's a little chilly, we'll see. But let's go, uh, let's go find our plane. Let's go on a seaplane ride, our first. The Florida Keys do not end in Key West. Key West is just the end of the road. The chain of islands continue on for 70 more miles westward, where our destination for the day lies at the last landmass before Mexico, the Dry Tortugas. These seven tiny islands that lie in the blue-green waters of the Gulf of Mexico are at the true end of the Keys. First test done. It's not the proper way to load an airplane though. Been there, done that. <laughs> this is the, uh, this, this pilot here has about 20 years flight experience in Alaska as well as a bush pilot. Oh, very cool. So, we gotta find out where he flies awesome. in the summer. Yeah. Nice day out. Just west of Key West, we fly over an area known as the Flats. This is a body of very shallow water, only three to five feet deep, extending almost 20 miles westward. As we continue westward and beyond the Flats, we now enter the Marquesas Islands. These islands are easy to spot as they are coral atolls. Beyond the Marquesas Islands lies the quicksands. The water goes down to 30 feet deep here, and the seabed is made of huge sand dunes that are continuously moved by the strong tidal currents. In all, our flight only took 35 minutes from wheels up to pontoons down, but it was spectacular. From our vantage, the water was crystal clear, and we were able to easily spot wildlife. Yeah. Ah, that was nice. Nice little plane ride. That was a lot of fun. First time in a seaplane for both of us, I think. Yeah, no, it was really cool. Uh, so we're here for a couple hours, I guess, and uh, we'll go play. It's a castle with a moat around it. Wow. I love it. Well, it was also a prison. Well, it's not a castle either. <laughs> it's a fort. See, if it were a nice, warm, flat sea day, we'd go underwater and find this stuff living and not up on the beach. <laughs> Isn't this neat though? Look at that. It's some sort of coral. I don't know what it is. I'm not going to guess. But I'm not sure if we're going to get in the water today. Um, the wind wasn't predicted, and it's much heavier than it was. It should be. The waves are big. We don't have wetsuits. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Sand dollar on steroids, what the hell is that? I've never seen one like that. Is that how they grow down here? I've only seen flat ones. That's beautiful. Cool. This one must be uh, fairly newly detached from the reef because it's still got a lot of color. It hasn't been sun bleached yet. Beautiful. Yes, it is. The islands were first discovered by Spanish explorer Ponce de Leon in 1513. They were first named Las Tortugas 
the turtles due to the abundance of sea turtles. The word dry was soon added to mariners charts to warn of the lack of fresh water. In 1846, the construction of Fort Jefferson began by the U.S. military to protect the Atlantic-bound Mississippi River shipping trade by fortifying the Tortugas. Construction continued for over 30 years, but was never finished. The fort contains over 16 million bricks, making it the largest brick building in the Western Hemisphere and covering 11 of the island's 16 acres. Looking at the concrete, sorry about the wind, but looking at the concrete, this dome here, you look at the texture of it, it's not just concrete, they use coral within the concrete mixture. Pretty crazy. Use what they got. Definitely using the local resources here to make their structure. During its peak, over 1,700 men were stationed at the fort, but it was plagued with construction problems and yellow fever epidemics. It crumbled under its own weight, cracking the rainwater cisterns and allowing salt water to penetrate into the precious drinking supply. The invention of the rifled cannon finally made the fort obsolete, as its thick walls could now be penetrated. The army finally abandoned Fort Jefferson in 1874. more hurricane damage right there on the moat wall. The wall completely failed there. Open to the sea now. Way out there is a lighthouse too. In 1908 the area was designated a wildlife refuge to protect nesting birds from egg collectors. Then in 1935 Fort Jefferson was proclaimed as a national monument but it was not until 1992 that Dry Tortugas reached its current status as a national park. Happy place? Where's your happy place? Water. Out there. But we didn't come by boat. Because <laughs> <laughs> no. the last time I did this 13 years ago, I came by boat and got very ill, very seasick. This was a nice quick 35 minute trip. What are you doing over there? About every 10 seconds it drops. Oh, I just saw it through the camera lens. And here it comes. There it is. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So the reason this stuff is dropping from the ceiling is the third level that we're walking on before is just it's filled with dirt, back filled with dirt. So what that does is when it rains. Uh, the moisture seeps through the dirt and, and then works its way through the bricks. There's obviously a crack up in the, in the brick and the mortar somewhere up there and the water just worked its way through, uh, thus creating the calcium deposits. And the brick and mortar works as a filter to filter out all the other minerals and it holds on to that stuff. So, kind of cool. Um, yeah, neat. Here we have some more rema remains. Big brick buildings, I believe it was kitchens and Stacy said privies. I'm not sure what a privy would be. An outhouse. Oh, yes, you need a privy. <laughs> yes, gotta take care of business. So I was just reading uh, out in the parade grounds area was actually three story officers' houses and they burnt between hurricanes and a big fire, they all burnt down. And in the 1960s, they cleared out all the bricks from the fire and turned it into just grass parade land. Another interesting fact, this was a Union prison, 
I guess. And when the Civil War broke out, the Union kept control of it. And therefore, the Confederate states would not provide the materials they needed to continue building this fort. And you can see an example of this. On the fort walls, you can see it's a nice yellow, and that's local material, the sandstone that you can find in the South. But when the South cut them off for supplies, they had to go to the North. And if you look just across here, these kitchens, it's more of a red brick. And that brick was actually produced up in Maine and in the Northern states. And it's just fascinating the distance those bricks had to travel to come all the way down here and out in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico to finish this fort. They say you can tell when the Civil War started uh, because even on the outside, the outer walls, you can see this change of brick color really predominantly. So here's a perfect example of we said with the outer wall where the bricks were manufactured from the north versus the south. If you look up high, you can see that red brick again that came from Maine. And the lower bricks were here from the southern states, from Florida, uh, Georgia, wherever, the, wherever they were made. The campground. You can camp out here from the ferry for three days. But if you can find another way to get out here, you can stay for up to 14. All right, well, we are at the campground of Fort Jefferson Dry Tortugas, and we just came across this couple. We're interrupting their lunch, actually. <laughs> and it turns out they're full-time RVers, too, uh, originally from Seattle, so small world. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what are your names? It's Anne and this is Jim. Uh, Jim. Anne and Jim, wonderful. And you have been out here for two nights already. Yeah. Yep. Wonderful. What What's the best part about, probably when we all leave, right? Uh, having the island to ourselves. Is yeah. Wonderful. Just uh, sort of the feeling you get listening to the surf and the quiet and uh, being in the sand and the sun and uh, being able to sort of soak it all in and uh, the sort of immensity of the fort. It's uh, amazing they brought all these bricks here in sailing ships mostly. Yeah, we were just talking about that on the inside. And then when the Civil War broke out, they had to ship them in from the northern yeah, state, Maine. Maine. <laughs> uh, it's crazy. How how expensive is it to, to camp here? Uh, to camp here is very cheap. To get here is a whole nother matter. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking to somebody yesterday who grew up in the area and said, before the Park Service privatized the ferry service, it was $30 to be here. Now it's $200. So per person. Per person, yeah. So you can come for two nights or one night, one day. You might as well come to camp for a few days and enjoy it. And then it was uh, since the government's reopened. Uh, are they making you pay for overnight? No, well, I haven't. We, we have don't it. know. There might be a fee here. There might not. <laughs> Nobody's come and asked. All so. right. Well, we have the Golden Eagle Pass anyway. So there you go. That it helps. Doesn't really matter to us. But. Very cool. Well, I know this is a destination and bucket list for a lot of. Uh, campers or RVers and here we are. I'm a little <laughs> jealous. We looked at it, but we have dogs oh. <laughs> and we have people in the, in the RV park where we're staying sitting the cat. Oh, that'd be so dogs nice. Dogs are another problem. What would you be, one recommendation for anybody who wants to camp here, what would you suggest to them? One or two recommendations. Don't expect tremendous snorkeling. It's not that good. Yeah. <laughs> Don't come here to snorkel. Fuel tablets. Yeah. Fuel tablets. Fuel tablets. You can't. You can't take. You have to you have a stove. Well, it depends how you camp. If you want to have hot, do any sort of cooking, then you have. You can't you're, bring. You're down your, to either charcoal or sterno. It's really hard eat, to cook on sterno. You can't. Uh -huh. you so you buy fuel tablets, or uh, they. They're also. These are Coglins. You can also get Esben, which are probably better. Okay. And uh, you want to bring. A lot. They're a little pricey. I brought, I think, 30 or 40 per day. I would have brought a little more than. Is that to help get the charcoal going, or is that just to cook on? That's to cook on. Sticks well, you can't milk. burn any wood here. But you can't take any. It's all protected wood. Yeah, yeah, it's all protected wood. All right, great. So. Well, you guys have a great time. You saying two more nights? One more night. Oh, one more night. night. One more night. So three, three nights total. Yeah. And then back on the ferry. Yep. Perfect.
Yeah. Enjoy, you guys. <laughs> yeah. And don't step on the fiddler crabs. Oh, I bet. Uh, yeah. They're everywhere. If you go look in the bushes, there's oh, you'll find the crabs. Dozens of them. Oh, cool. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Just have to get your feet wet one more time. At the end of our two hour stay at the fort, it was time to go back to civilization. If you ever have the chance to come to Dry Tortugas National Park, we highly recommend Key West Seaplane Adventures. Every effort is made to make your trip first class from free snorkel gear to complimentary sodas and water. Although about $150 more than the ferry, it was worth the extra expense due to less time of travel free parking at the airport, and add to that the spectacular low altitude sightseeing each way and no seasickness. There really is no comparison. Next time on Powhana Travels, we explore more of the Keys by visiting the Dolphin Research Center on Marathon Key and go kayaking in the backcountry off Summerlin Key. Be sure to hit the red subscribe button below so you don't miss our next Powhana adventures. As always, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up down below. Leave us a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We thank you for watching. Until next time, Powhana. Powhana.